Hi, everyone. If you've ever stared at a blank PowerPoint slide wondering how on earth you're going to turn three bullet points into a professional-looking presentation, well, you're definitely not alone. I've been there. We've all been there. And frankly, it's not a fun place to be. But here's the thing. Technology's gotten really, really good at helping us with exactly these kinds of challenges. And today, I want to show you something that honestly feels a bit like having a very talented assistant who never gets tired and doesn't judge you for changing your mind 15 times. It's called Gamma App, and it's going to help you create stunning PowerPoint presentations without the usual headaches. Now, I know what some of you may be thinking, another AI tool? Do I really need to learn something new? And look, I get it. But this one is different. It's actually designed to make your life easier, not more complicated. Whether you're putting together slides for your book club or organizing a family reunion or presenting to your community group or even maybe helping a grandchild with a school project, Gamma can take your ideas and turn them into something that looks like you hired a professional designer. Except you didn't. And it takes about five minutes instead of five hours. Now, if you watched my previous video, you might remember that I talked about doing proper research on your topic, validating what you get from AI tools like ChatGPT, and making sure that your information is accurate and reliable. Those steps are absolutely crucial if you're preparing for work or for a professional setting where accuracy really matters. But here's the great news. If you're just putting together something personal for the family or a casual group, you can skip some of those validation steps and jump right into the fun part. Gamma makes that easy. So grab a cup of your favorite beverage, get comfortable, and let me walk you through exactly how this works. By the end of this video, you'll know how to go from a simple idea to a polished presentation faster than you can say slide transition. All right. Let's begin at the beginning. This is the home base of Gamma. If you've ever opened PowerPoint and immediately felt like you needed a nap, this might feel like a breath of fresh air. Across the top, you'll notice Gamma wants to make it easy for you to create new, either with help from AI or starting fresh from a blank slate. An import button in case you've got something from PowerPoint or any other source that you'd like to bring in. Now, along the left-hand side, Gamma organizes your work. Think of it like a tidy digital filing cabinet. Here are folders to group presentations, templates if you don't want to reinvent the wheel, themes and custom fonts if you want to add a bit of personality, and, of course, a trash bin, because sometimes even great ideas need to go. In the center here, you'll see all of the presentations that you've worked on laid out like a visual gallery. It's easy to scan, and everything is marked with when it was last viewed. So, if you're like me and can't remember what you had for breakfast, Gamma remembers for you. Now, notice how some presentations have titles like Simple Guide to Talking to AI or Importance of Lifelong Learning for Retirees. These aren't just projects. They're reminders that AI can help us teach, learn, and grow, no matter our age or background. So, even before we start making a slide, you can already see that Gamma is designed to be friendly, visual, and organized. Now we're moving into the creative zone. This is where the magic begins. Gamma's AI-powered creation screen. You're greeted with three big choices, and each one is like a different path up the same mountain. Let's walk through them. Paste in text. This one's for planners. If you already have an outline or even some rough notes, you can paste them in and let Gamma build slides from that. Think of it as giving Gamma the ingredients for a recipe. It turns them into a full meal. Generate. Now this is the easy button. You just type a short prompt, one sentence, and Gamma will spin up a full presentation for you. This is great for those I need something and I need it now moments. It's also labeled popular, because frankly, who doesn't love playing with this novel toy? Import file or URL. If you've already got a document, a slide deck, or even a web page you like, Gamma can turn that into a presentation too. 
It's like giving your old content a stylish new wardrobe. And just below that, Gama helpfully saves your recent prompts. It's a memory lane for your brainstorming. You can see some past examples I've worked on, including prompts about generative AI and seniors, and one that says, AI and the impact on our world. So no matter your starting point, an idea, a draft, or a dusty old word file, Gama has an option that gets you moving fast. You can avoid the blank slide anxiety. So, choosing your creation type. Now we're really diving in. This is Gama's Generate screen, where you tell the AI what you want, and it builds it for you. You don't need to know fancy tech lingo or have a design degree. All you need is an idea. First, on top, what you want to make. Presentation, web page, or documents. Or even social posts for the ambitious influencers among us. Choosing the number of cards. Here's a quick tip. Gamma called slides cards. And in this dropdown, you pick how many you want. Up to 10 is free for everyone. If you want more, say 15, 20, or even 50, you'll need a plus or a pro account. Now, for most folks starting out, eight cards is the sweet spot. It's enough to say something meaningful and not so much as it turns into a TED talk. This is where you pick your page style, basically the shape of your slides. Default is clean and modern. Traditional, well, that feels more like PowerPoint. Tall is perfect for scrolling on phones or tablets especially if you're into the TikTok screen or on YouTube Shorts. Pick the one that fits your audience and your vibe. Language options. Need your presentation in another language? Just click here and choose. Gama speaks many languages. No translation app required. Example prompts. Feeling stuck? These example prompts help get your creativity flowing. From Egyptian goddesses to frog lectures, Gama shows you the range, fun, academic, business, and everything in between. Clicking one fills the prompt box instantly, like a creative head start. Now, fortunately, I already know what I want. So here's the full prompt I created. Create an easy-to-understand overview of the responsible use of AI tools for healthcare and medical questions for healthcare consumers. Cover key points like benefits, risks, privacy, and how to use AI tools wisely. Use simple language, relatable examples, and visuals to keep it engaging. The goal is to inform and empower everyday people to make smart choices when using AI for their health. So this is the instruction we're giving to Gamma, and the clearer and more thoughtful it is, the better results you're going to get. Then... Just hit the Generate Outline button. This is Gamma's response to the prompt we just entered. It instantly created a clean, structured outline for a healthcare AI presentation. No formatting, no fuss. Here are two examples from the list. AI and your health, a simple guide. The suggested image, a friendly robot doctor. The intro line, AI is changing healthcare. Let's understand it together. And then there's what is AI in healthcare? Examples include diagnosing diseases and answering questions. Analogy, think of it like a super smart medical assistant. Now these are simple, clear, and perfect for teaching or informing an audience. And here you see the remaining slides that Gamma suggested. Of course, you can add more cards here, but we don't need that for our demo. Time to dress up your slides. <laughs> Gamma offers themes like Pearl, Be Happy, or Night Sky, because even your presentation deserves a good outfit. Click to preview, mix and match, or just pick your favorite vibe and go. You can simply select a theme to get an idea of what it would look like. Personally, I don't like the light themes, so we're going to go with the dark one by clicking on Select Theme here. Fine-tuning content. This is where you tweak your content settings, like telling Gamma how chatty to be. Brief keeps it tight. Medium kind of targets the sweet spot. Detailed is for the overachievers in the front row. And yes, Flux Fast 1 is the AI model. It sounds like a spaceship, but it's just here to make your visuals pop. 
You can also choose AI image sources from automatic, as in generated, to your preferred source. If you want to have more control over the generated slide deck, simply click on the advanced mode that you see here. Now we're telling Gamma who we're talking to and how we want to sound. Writing for business folks, students, tech geeks, just type or click. Do you want a tone that's professional, inspirational, or maybe humorous? Pick your flavor. You want options? Gamma's got you covered. This is like setting the GPS before a road trip, so Gamma knows where to go and what kind of music to play on the way. And when you're really ready to take off, just hit that continue button. Now you can watch the magic unfold. Just observe while Gamma does the grunt work in mere minutes that would have taken a mere mortal, or at least me, hours, if not days, to complete. And just like that, we've wrapped up the perfect first act. Now, you've seen how Gamma takes your idea from a single prompt and turns it into a clean, themed, and tailored presentation outline. No formatting marathons, no clip art emergencies. Now take a moment, stretch your legs, grab a sip of something comforting, coffee, tea, or maybe your fifth glass of water because your smartwatch told you to. Coming up in Act 2, we'll step behind the curtain and edit, polish, and personalize the slides. This is where we make it yours. Adjusting images, tweaking text, and adding that little spark that says, yes, I made this, and it's awesome. Now, seriously, I'm not even going to pretend like this presentation is perfect, or even that it's good enough. Like in the opera, it ain't over till some lady sings, or in this case, signs off on the finished product. Now, it's your turn to show your creativity off. You have a rudimentary slide deck. Time to turn it into a polished presentation. For that, we go back to the beginning, the opening slide. This menu is your personal editor. Just click Ask AI 2, and you've got options like improve writing, fix spelling and grammar, translate, that's for your global fan base, obviously, or tweak the length, shorter, longer, or just plain simpler. Let's assume you want AI to make the text on the home slide a little bit bigger. Just click the option, then click on the text you want lengthened and presto. See? Much better. At least now the audience can get busy reading what this presentation is about while you chatter on about who you are or whatever. And, you know, I'm not really happy with this AI-generated image on this slide. It looks to me more like they're on a date than discussing medical conditions, so let's change it. Just select the image and click the edit button on top. So here you see the image and the prompt that Gamma used to create it. Simply select the prompt and change it. We're going to ask for an image of an elderly woman trying to type on her computer with a lot of small complicated text on the screen. We'll leave the other parameters like style, theme, aspect ratio, and model alone and simply generate. And within seconds, we have six options to choose from. Now, I like number two, so we select that, and Gamma replaces it. Now, that looks to me like a very acceptable title slide for this presentation. And as I scroll down through the following slides, I can also simply change any of the text I don't like by simply selecting it and overtyping. Now, if I don't like it at all, what Gamma offers me, I could just ask it to create something else. I could revise my original prompt or just be done with it for now. Before I go there, let's try something else. Assume I decide I'd like to upload an image from my computer to replace one of the AI-generated images. I can simply click on the Remove Accent Image option on the top of the image. And here I have the option to upload an image from anywhere. Now, as you see, I have a ton of options to choose from. At this point, I kind of like the presentation, but I am missing one key component speaker notes. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm lost nowadays without notes that tell me what to say for each element on the slide. No problem. Gamma has you covered here too. Just click on that little symbol on the upper right corner of the slide and marvel at what you get. You can add speaker notes. Now, if you're great at presenting, you can just type your speaker notes in here. On the other hand, if you're lazy like me and always looking for better ways of doing a task, click on the Generate button in the Notes section. Gamma 
is now reading the text on the screen and drafting speaker notes related to the content. You can like it and leave it, edit it to your heart's content, or simply hit the generate button again and get a better version. Now, I don't know about you, but this kind of feels like magic to me. Once you're satisfied with that slide, click on the right arrow at the bottom of the notes panel to advance to the next slide and repeat the process. Now, to be sure, you could also take a screenshot of this slide, go to your ChatGPT to paste it in and ask ChatGPT to do the same. Now, honestly, that's how I have been drafting my speaker notes since ChatGPT was released. I do think the Gamma does just as well as ChatGPT and it's certainly easier to stick with one tool, so I'm gonna use this. I also find it important to do this one slide at a time. That allows me to focus on the topic of the slide to review what the AI drafted, modify it, revise it, or reject it, and write my own. Then move on to the next slide until I'm done. Now, once you're satisfied with the speaker notes and the presentation, click on the three dots in the top left menu bar to find the other options. You've created it, polished it, and now it's time to share it with the world, or just your Tuesday lunch and learn group. Gamma gives you all the export options, PDF for printing or easy sharing, PowerPoint if you're sticking with the classics, Google Slides, yeah, it's actually that new, and PNGs if you want each slide as an image. In short, wherever your audience lives, Gamma can meet them there. No tech drama, just smooth delivery. Now, for the purposes of this demo, we're going to go old school and simply ask for a PowerPoint presentation. And as you see, within a few seconds, the presentation is ready to download. Well, time to see how good of a job Gamma did. Here we are in our old friend PowerPoint. This looks familiar. Kind of looks like any other presentation I might have created with a few hours or days worth of work. Who am I kidding? <laughs> I would never have created anything this fancy without my wife's active involvement. I can confirm that those speaker notes that Gamma drafted are also available. Now, obviously, this does not mean that I'm simply going to read those notes when I'm presenting this video. My speaking style has always been when I'm recording a video to use the speaker notes as a guideline, not a straitjacket. Now, as I scroll through, I notice there are no animations. Eh, no problem. I've been doing those manually for the last 30 odd years, so I can deal with that. Now, all in all, I'm quite satisfied with what Gamma gives me as a draft of what could become a great presentation. I started less than an hour ago with a simple prompt, create an easy to understand overview of the responsible use of AI tools for healthcare and medical questions for healthcare consumers. Cover key points like benefits, risks, privacy, and how to use AI tools wisely. Use simple language, repeatable examples and visuals to keep it engaging. The goal is to inform and empower everyday people to make smart choices when using AI for their health. And now I have the draft of a complete presentation and it took me maybe a tenth of the time it would have taken me manually. I think this tool is invaluable for those who make a living by presenting knowledge to an audience such as you. Quick question, have you already used Gamma? And would you recommend it to a colleague or to a competitor? I would love to see links to your presentations and read about your thoughts and impressions. Also, you could help me by giving me a like and subscribing to my channel. We really appreciate it. And it allows us to continue delivering quality content like this. Thank you very much for watching.